Now let's get going with Affinity Publisher. It kind of looks confusing, but I promise you it's not. We'll click on New Document. And what we've got to do is make sure that our document is set up for whatever we're doing. So in this case, if we're making a yearbook, we make sure it's A4, that it's print. Let's go down and see that the DPI is 300, so that's perfect. Color, we'll make sure it says CMYK. In the margins, we'll just make sure that this little chain link is clicked. And for the yearbook, we'll make it 10 millimeters, and that chain makes all of the margins equal. And in the bleed, we'll stick with three millimeters. Once you press OK, we've got our first page of what we're making. You can see that if I zoom in, the bleed is actually this space outside the page. It's really important that we have this because the printer is going to cut pages of our yearbook. And if we don't put things to the bleed, it's possible that we might get a white edge, which really doesn't look good. The margin itself is standard, so we're going to put all of our text going up to the margin, and then we'll discuss what to do with photographs. Before we do anything, let's just have a very quick look at the left-hand toolbar. We've got the black arrow. That's our selection tool, our move tool. Underneath that, we've got our text box. We've got our shapes. If we click and hold, you can see a number of shapes will come up there. And we have our picture frame tools, circular or rectangular. On the right hand side, we've got a whole bunch of stuff we don't need to talk about right now. Let's just start making a document really quickly. What we'll do is grab a text box. We'll go from the margin and draw across to the other margin. Uh, Affinity Publisher, as well as most other programs, will help you out by kind of making your mouse stick to margins and edges of other things. So it makes our life a lot easier. Let's draw another text box. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And now what we're going to do is add a picture frame. Oh, for now, what we'll do is we'll stick within the margin like that. So we basically have like a three elements on our page here. Now, if we have a closer look at this picture frame over here, it might be nice actually to take this picture to the edges of our page like this. And here comes one of our first rules. We never put anything to the edge of the page, but we put it to the bleed instead there. So if anything is going to go over to the edge of the page, make sure it goes to the bleed instead rather than the edge of the page. If it's going to the margin, then let it go to the margin. Now let's very quickly add in a title. So I'm just going to double click in there and we'll say this is the page title like this. Over here, I really don't want to be typing a huge amount, so I'm going to right click and click on insert filler text, and it will just put some false Latin, some lorem ipsum, just to make sure that there's something to look at. And in terms of this picture, let's just grab a photograph, something like this, and just throw it in. You can see how easy it is when we put things in, they kind of take the whole box, they fill up the area that we've given them. And it's really nice that we don't have to fiddle with the sizes of pictures. Now let's do a couple of things to make this page look good. I'm going to go to the black arrow so I can now select things and move them. Let's go to the page title. Notice you don't have to double click and select your text. Instead, all you have to do is really click on the box itself to change anything about that text. Let's make that something a little bit more impressive. Let's get the size. Yeah, why don't we be bold? Let's go to 96. Let's make it center and also center it vertically. No, in this case, I'm going to go top align because I want it to touch the top margin. And there we have a title which actually looks good now. Let's grab a different color. So in this case, we can just go directly for orange. Now that text that we put in is really boring looking. It's aerial. It does not belong in this publication anyway. Let's click here. Let's go down to Baskerville. It's a nice classic font. Uh, and now in this case, I want it to look kind of magazine-like or let's say newspaper-like. So what I'm going to do here is go up to the columns and actually put two columns in. And there we have a really good looking page with almost no effort. Now, if you want to see how something looks while you're making it rather than having to print it out, there is this little preview button here, the windscreen wiper. Click on that and you can see all the page markings and all the guides disappear. And you end up looking at something that's going to look like the printed page. 
Now, although this is not spectacular, I think you'll agree, it looks pretty good for something we made in just under a minute. So that's basically the workings of Affinity Publisher. You're just going to make page after page, put elements in, whether they're text, titles, whether they're shapes, whether they're emojis, whatever you're going to do. And you put your yearbook together just like that by page after page after page of putting things together. Now, in the next videos, we're going to have a look at some of the shortcuts and some of the things that we can do so that we don't end up repeating ourselves over and over again.